How's it going everybody? My name is Travis Burke. Obviously you've seen me from some of my YouTube videos. If you watched any of those crappy videos, I'm not saying this video is going to be any better, but this is something I'm much more passionate about than just some video games. Video games are awesome, very fun, but I'm more into ball pythons. And I recently purchased my first ball python back in October of 2018. And didn't know if I was going to like it. Thought they were cool. Always liked animals most of my life. And decided to jump into it. I did a lot of research. A lot of research. And it still wasn't enough. And... I just wanted to go over what I've started with, what I've decided to do, and where I'm going in the future. So let's get into it and let's uh, look at some of the stuff I have, show you a couple snakes, show you a couple setups, a couple mistakes I made, which I definitely made a lot of mistakes. You're going to make mistakes. If you get into ball pythons or a new animal, just any new animal, animal in general, you're going to have a big learning process. And... It's fun to me. I like it. I think it's a cool learning experience. And uh, as long as you try to prepare yourself, you're not failing. It's okay to fail if you're doing your best. Sometimes we just you know, miss things or we don't know some little things. And that's how you gain experience. So I'm going to show you my racks and my snakes. And we'll go from there. Currently, I'm keeping my snakes in my gaming room. Like I said... I do game. It is a fun pastime. It's good to relieve stress and a lot of fun sometimes too. But right now this is my setup. I started with this and this is a very, very basic setup. I have a heat mat under here with a temperature probe, um, thermostat, which keeps my temperatures around 90. I have it at 95 by, because by the time it comes to the plastic, it is around 90 degrees inside the enclosure on the bottom. So, got some holes punched in here. You know, this very, very basic starter setup. And I also have these wood planks here to keep it up off the table so that nothing crazy happens. Don't want to burn the house down. But, this is what I started with. Just a simple water bowl. You know, hide I bought from like PetSmart or something. And then, okay, so there's no snake in here, right? There is a snake in here. He's crazy, and he burrows underneath my hide that I made him, and he likes to be right on the heat mat. Yep, <laughs> that's what he does. He is a nut, and that's, he's in here for a specific reason. He wasn't eating for a very long time, and I tried to move him to different enclosures and see if I can get him to eat, and he started eating as soon as I put him in here. No idea why, just really funny snake, but anyway... So I got some other things you absolutely need. Not absolutely, but really nice to have. So paper towels, you're gonna need them. A lot of them, a shit ton. Uh, they are messy. Snakes do poop. And you do have to clean out the tubs and change out their um, bedding sometimes. I use Reptichip. I was not always using Reptichip. I bought something called Reptibark at first and I did not like Reptibark. Uh, it made my snakes um, turn colors. It made them red. Wasn't that great. I also have a, a scale here to weigh my ball pythons, see how big they're growing. I can record like how many grams they've grown each month and just keep track of how well they're doing. Uh, I also have this thermostat here, which I keep around 93. And inside these this rack system, which I bought from VE Electronics, my very electronics. Uh, it, it just helps regulate the uh, heat tape on the back of these tubs. I love this rack system. I honestly do. It's a good starter rack system. Good for like, you know, teenage ball pythons, small babies to teenage. I also have some other tubs, some smaller tubs as well. Um, it's just worked really well for me. It was about 300 bucks. A little expensive. But I feel like it's better quality than one you could actually bake. And it was worth it to me. I also have a little spray bottle here just to help wet down their enclosure. You know, really nice. Hand sanitizer is nice. If someone's come over and hold them, I always 
Make sure they sanitize their hands before and after. And um, so let's get into some of the snakes I got. This is a, my, my very basic setup. I didn't have much when I started. Actually, when I started, I had this. Not even this. I, uh, I had a box lower than this. And I didn't have a hide or anything. And the snake came before it was supposed to. The guy told me that it was going to be here Thursday. And showed up Monday morning. So I actually cut up a K-cup box and made that my hide and had a little water bowl. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention. Humidity. This uh, thermometer tracks humidity. Need to make sure snakes have good humidity as well. But let's get into these snakes real quick. This is the first snake I ever bought. Uh, her name is Maru. And uh, I don't know if anybody watches anime, but the reason why her name is Maru is my original idea without thinking about business end and breeding was I'm going to get a white snake named Orochi and then have her which is black and white named Maru and together they'd be Orochi Maru I know, silly idea I thought it was cool at the time but things change and if I'm correct she is in shed yes she is she is dull 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 she was one of my favorite snakes she's very nice very nice snake and uh love her she's my first one she's about 900 to 950 grams right now she's awesome eater she has ate every meal since i got her and notice how it's so wet this enclosure she loves to put water all over her cage that's got to be changed soon so there's her she's a vpi exanthic i got this second girl queen spin she is always on top of her hide or in her hide, but she's crazy. This one's crazy. She's nice. They're all nice. It's just she moves so much. I'll get her out because the other one was in shed. We'll show her off a little bit. She's a really pretty snake. What's up, girl? Awesome snake. Um, sorry for the camera work. I actually wanted to get a um, GoPro Hero Black 7 and do all this with, but come to find out, my um, my bonus check was not this week, so we're doing it with a phone, woo! My friend told me I was procrastinating on the video, and I was like, whatever, man, I ain't procrastinating, but he forced me to do it, <laughs> said I should just get it out there. Here's my uh, my fire spider. Now this one here has the biggest attitude. She's awesome, but man, oh man, she hisses sometimes. And uh, she never bit me. None, none of my snakes have bit me, thank God. But she's awesome. She was the second snake I ever bought. And uh, she was so tiny at a reptile expo. She got like a, I love her head stamp. It's like almost like a broken arrow. Come out here. <laughs> but she is awesome, even though she has a little bit of attitude. I think the attitude's what makes me like her more, honestly. I love when they have some attitude to them. A little bit of, a little bit of fire to her. That's why she's a fire spider. Heck for clown. <laughs> All right. Now here is probably my second favorite snake. This is my hobby. She is beautiful, awesome too. Very awesome snake. She definitely is my second favorite. She just pops on camera, dude. She is definitely a showstopper. GHI Mojave, heck clown. Let's see if we get that to focus. Yeah, Look at those eyes. Awesome snake. Now I'm going to do a video later on, like showcasing all these individually, because this is just a quick overview. But there she is. Awesome. All right, put you back in there, girl. Now, I have mostly girls because I did a bunch of research when I started getting into this breeding stuff. And I was like, man, I got to have a bunch of females. Okay, I'll buy females instead of a bunch of males. But I also did buy two males. And one res I have one rescue here, too. So... One of the males is this banana. 
VPI, Xanthic Banana. Well, Pastel as well. Oh, you didn't need it. Nice. So he's currently on mice. He is so picky. He is such a pain in the butt. It's unreal. The awesome snake, a very nice snake. Let me get something set up real quick so I can get this mouse out of here. You know, we'll just leave the mouse in there. He might still eat it. All right, come here, buddy. Oh, a ginormous turd back there. Good God, help me. I got to clean that up immediately. So here he is. BPI Xanthic Pastel. Beautiful snake. A lot of people like him. You just so see that yellow popping through there, that banana. And then that darker color as the BPI. He's pretty cool. Get in here and eat this mouse, dude. I appreciate it. <laughs> he needs to eat. But here's the rescue I have. Now, I know it says Sterling, Het Albino Clown. That guy's actually in there because he had trouble eating. So I moved him from here to there. This is my other male besides him that is a rescue. Now, when I got him, he was so tiny. Look how big he is now. He is huge compared to what he was. May not be huge to a lot of people watching, but man, has he grown. Look at that guy. He's awesome. I love him. We call him, we named him Jack. I don't know why. My cousin's girl decided his name was going to be Jack. Move, Jack. Hit the road, Jack. Oh, there we go. And he has been so much happier ever since. This guy didn't eat for like seven or eight months with the last person he was with. Now, I put a rat in there, it's dead. Like, it's literally gone every time. See you, bud. So this is my first setup, my first breeding plans. Uh, well, I haven't told really, really my plans, but these are the ones I'm going to be breeding. And hopefully in the future, I can be very successful at it and, you know, just enjoy these great animals. I have a bunch of new starter equipment. I have a bunch of mistakes I made. So if anyone has any questions on any of this equipment, temperatures, humidity, bedding, like what size is the feed, anything, let me know. If anybody wants me to make uh, a video on that, let me know. Hopefully the quality of my next video will be much better. I know this is a really crappy quality uh, phone shot video and the setup is not ideal either. But I have some things in the future that I plan on doing. I plan on making a reptile room, getting some ARS racks and, you know, go big or go home, you know. <laughs> but lots of things in the future. I have two new snakes coming in in a couple weeks and I'm going to have a lot more to show off. So any questions or you guys have anything you want me to do or things I can do better, let me know. Like I said, I know the quality of the video is terrible. It is so bad. I know it sucks. <laughs> and I know you can't see me that much, but Hey, I tried. Okay. As soon as I get that 4k GoPro, things are going to be sweet. All right. I'll see you guys. Thanks.